quiet and cool for tonight. Below normal temperatures to continue. And will Hurricane Harvey have any impact on the heartland? But right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the KTVO Skycam. This located on top of Kirksville City Hall, brought to you by Heritage Channels Realty and King's Appliance. Partly sunny skies across Kirksville. Temperatures into the upper 70s. Winds are out of the southeast at around 8 miles per hour. All across the area, we're looking at quiet, calm conditions with those clouds that's going to continue to stay with us as we're heading into the evening and overnight. But the latest drought monitor report came out today and still looking at extreme uh, to severe drought across southeast Iowa and specifically the extreme drought is centered into Wapalo County and into Ottumwa area. So something that we're going to have to keep a very close eye on as we're heading into the fall and winter. Abnormally dry conditions remain over northeast Missouri. Also into moderate still hanging on into northern portions of Schuyler County. So we've got some moisture that's going to be coming in, but we're going to have to wait a couple more days for that. So Here's what we're looking at with partly cloudy skies for tonight. Partly sunny as we're heading throughout Friday and Friday night. I tell you, football tomorrow night is going to be awesome. We're going to see dry conditions for that. I know Fred's going to like that uh, for the football games. We're going to wait until late Saturday night for that showers uh, that's going to be moving down. We do have a system off to the north that's going to continue to uh, slowly push south and affect us. But we're also keeping a very close eye on Hurricane Harvey now. It's a Category 1 hurricane with sustained winds of about 85 miles per hour. It's going to continue to gain strength and become a Hurricane Category 3 when it makes landfall near Corpus Christi is what they're looking at right now. Anyway, from late Friday night into very early on Saturday. That's going to be dumping anywhere from about two feet to 30 inches of rain. So they are telling people to evacuate now uh, anywhere from Corpus Christi, Corpus Christi to Houston area. So that is a lot of flooding that they're going to be dealing with. And that system is going to actually stay along the Texas coastline throughout the weekend and it's very early next week. We are still going to get a little bit of moisture from that, uh, but nowhere near like they are going to be receiving. So here's what we're looking at right now, though. Temperatures wise 78 degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds are out of the east southeast at around seven miles far. We have dew points around 60, 78 degrees in a tunnel with very calm winds. Dew points into the upper 50s feeling very nice. 61 degrees at three by 7 a.m. We're waking up to about 59 degrees at 7 a.m. So 59 degrees is going to be the overnight low with partly cloudy skies will remain on the lighter side with those winds out of the southeast at around 5 to even 10 miles per hour throughout the day on Friday. But those temperatures are very nice again, 80 degrees topping out. Here's your extended forecast as we're heading into the weekend. 83 degrees on Saturday with partly sunny skies. About a 30% chance of rain pushing in late Saturday night. More so into Sunday. We could hear a few rumbles of thunder as well. 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. As we're heading back to work and school on Monday. 80 degrees with partly sunny skies. Overnight lows in the upper 50s to low 60s. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at KTVO.com. So those poor people mm -hmm. along the coast in Texas, my goodness. They've got fair warning, so they should heed them and exactly, head out. Exactly, yes. Right, thanks, Risa. Coming up next,